We came up to visit Sitka in Bozeman, Montana, and in this video, we're gonna talk about some of these Sitka whitetail packs, specifically which pack is gonna be right for you. If you guys are anything like me, I'm kind of a gear junkie. So if you give me a pack that's small, I'll fill it. If you give me a giant pack, I'm gonna fill it. So we're gonna talk about the four different packs we have on the table here with Chris from Sitka Gear, and he's gonna let you know which pack is gonna be right for you and for your style of hunting. So Chris, thanks for doing this video with us. Let's talk about some whitetail packs. Yeah, when you look at all of these packs, you know, there's really one that's gonna be right for you just to, depending on which style of hunting you do for whitetail. You know, a lot of the other packs that I've seen, you know, they might say that they're right for whitetail hunting, but these were actually designed only with whitetail hunting in mind. Um, and so they're all built to hang from a tree. Uh, and so, you know, depending on, like you said, if you want a lot of gear to a, just a little minimalist run, there's a pack for you. Uh, the first one we're gonna go through is the tool belt. Uh, this is the minimalist style pack. So all of these essentially are built with like a bucket style design. Uh, so this is just essentially your mini bucket. You're gonna open this up. You're gonna be able to shop your gear during the hunt that you need. Everything you want, like from your, your bow arm hanger, uh, slides into a, a slot under the back for the back of your pack. So you can, you can access that just by reaching back and getting it while you're climbing the tree. But everything you want to access from the outside in and then how you're gonna repack it at the end of the hunt. Uh, so it's really just built for a minimalist hunt, about 600 cubic inches. Uh, and then for your later season hunt, there is a removable stuff sack for your apparel called the, we just call it the laundry hamper, but you can throw your fanatic pack, your mid, or your fanatic jacket, your mid layer inside of there, pack it in for those late, late season hunts for the walk-in so you don't spontaneously combust by wearing it to the stand. And then uh, you can turn around and pack it uh, when you, break everything down once you're putting it on in the stand and it packs away and you're back to your minimalist design. So Perfect. that's the tool belt. The next pack that we'll talk about is the tool bucket. Uh, this is just a larger bucket. Again, essentially the same kind of setup, but yeah, has a lid, opens up, hang from the tree, just so you talk about, you know, a slot to be able to put all your gear in choppable windows with this mesh. And then the front uh, lid will drop down, again, so you can shop your gear during your hunt. This is about 1,800 cubic inches, so a little bit more space, a little bit more of a generalist everyday hunter's pack. So would you say most people are probably going to go for this style of pack and size? And I would say, yeah, that's your 90% solution. Pretty much you might have this one and that one in your kit for the different style of hunts, but this one's pretty much going to go in everybody's kit of packs. All right. Yep, uh, and then for each one of these packs too, uh, there is a removable rain cover that we sell separately. Uh, so this just pulls out again for, if say you're hiking in during the, the firearm season, uh, one side is going to be blaze uh, so that you can get your blaze coverage uh, over your pack. Uh, and then uh, during your hunt, if it's raining, you've got the OptiFeed side facing out. So uh, that's inside there as well. And then again, each one of these also has a removable blaze flag that comes over the front as well. Uh, the next pack uh, is actually one that I love in my kit. If you care about quiet, the Fanatic pack's right for you. There's literally nothing on this pack to make noise. It's unstructured on purpose. Um, and so even like buckles that we have inside of here fit in the fabric sleeves. Uh, instead of a clip buckle right here, we use these silent, uh, these silent sliders right here. They have white so you can see them in the dark. And then again, this is just a regular bucket style design, just a different take on that. Uh, but everything you want from a quiet standpoint. And it looks like it's made of the actual Fanatic material too. So everybody who knows anything about the Fanatic, it's dead quiet. Yeah, absolutely. I worked with a, a guy named Jim Holt Jr. He's in Canada. He's the original silent Fanatic. Every piece of his stand is taped. Every piece of his bow that could make noise, everything gets taped with hockey tape. True Canadian. Uh, but, uh, you know, that way uh, there's nothing to make noise. So if you care about quiet, definitely the Fanatic pack is right for you. And cubic inches on this one? It's about the same as that, about okay. 1,800 cubic inches. All right. Uh, then the next one, this is the big boy. This is like you said, if you've got a space for everything that you need, the cargo box is right for you. Uh, this is about 2,200 cubic inches of storage. Again, it's just a bigger, larger bucket style design. Uh, breaks apart if you wanna carry a platform stand or if you're running a saddle, you can run your platform on the front. Sticks go in the side. Uh, we've got some great videos on that go in detail how to use this pack because it may not be intuitive to you, but you can watch those videos and you can break down and see exactly how to use all the detailed features of this pack as well. 
So basically that's going to be for the guy who is maybe hunting public land and has to carry everything in, stick, stand, and everything. That's the one he's going to want to go with. Absolutely. I worked with a, a guy that's a phenomenal public land hunter, uh, Bo Martonic, and, and we sat down and said, what do we want in a pack for those everyday hunts? Cargo box is right for there. So, you know, just in a quick review, running gun style pack, tool belt, generalist everyday pack, uh, tool bucket, all about quiet, fanatic. And then everything you want with you, cargo box, then the kitchen sink. And all of these, minus maybe the, the, this guy here, can carry a bow. Uh, yes, they can all uh, carry a bow, and they, you're exactly right. Uh, on the back of each one of these packs, you'll see actually a strap that comes out. Uh, maybe is a little bit different take, but the idea is you put your bow on the front of the pack. Uh, this goes around your riser, or if you're using a firearm, maybe around your grip or the barrel of your of your firearm uh, and it acts like the third leg of the stool okay. kind of holds everything up so that it's not sloshing side to side. Awesome. Well, Chris, thanks for all of the information. And if you guys want more uh, information on these packs, which I don't think we missed anything, but check it out on our website. I'll have a link below to all of these packs so you can check them out. And like you can see, there's going to be a pack on here that's perfect for everyone, for all of your hunting needs. Again, whether you're in the stand for a couple hours or whether you have to hike it in for two miles. So check these out. Sitka Gear Packs, it's their whitetail line. You can find a pack for you.